Hey everyone, it's Intel here. So I got some really good uploads in the works, but I'm not done with them yet. So in the meantime, I wanted to make a video talking about some really low key and underrated Lunar Client mods that you should be using. These are mods that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, but they're mods that I use all the time and some of them are actually really useful and make your game look a lot better. I also do wanna say that my ghost cloak is finally back on the store as well as a new ghost bandana. I know a lot of people really love this cosmetic, so I'm really excited to bring it back for you guys. But anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start things off, let's talk about the mod Minimal View Bobbing. This is personally one of my favorite mods on Lunar Client, and I think it makes PvPing in games like Bed Wars look so much better. So, to explain what Minimal View Bobbing does, let me explain how actual View Bobbing works. When you have View Bobbing enabled, it does two things. The first thing is that whenever you run around, your fist or whatever item that you're holding bobs back and forth. The second thing View Bobbing does is it makes your crosshair sway back and forth as you move. It's really, really subtle, but try to pay attention to my crosshair when compared to the line in the hitbox mod. You can see as I run forward and backward, my crosshair crosshair sort of sways from left to right. This is something that's really bad for bridging. You can see that whenever I'm bridging, when I have view bobbing enabled, it feels really awkward bridging with view bobbing enabled, and honestly, like, it's sort of harder to bridge with view bobbing enabled, and that's why most people who play Bed Wars disable view bobbing. So whenever view bobbing's disabled, you no longer get your crosshair swaying back and forth, but at the same time, the item that you're holding in your hand also doesn't move either as you're running, which, in my opinion, makes it look really, really awkward, especially when you're PvPing. When you have view bobbing disabled, it honestly just feels like you're hovering around like a ghost or something. And this is where minimal view bobbing comes in. So when you open the lunar mods, you go to settings and you scroll down to minimal view bobbing right here and enable it. And after you turn it on, you also have to go in game and then enable view bobbing again. And now you can see that my blocks are moving around back and forth, but my crosshair isn't swaying at all. This makes PVP and playing Minecraft in general just look a lot less awkward in my opinion, while also making bridging easier because your crosshair doesn't sway back and forth as you bridge. The next mod I want to talk about is modern keybind handling, and you can find it by going into your mods, settings, or scrolling down to misc options, and it's right here. So let me disable this to show you guys what it does. Basically, so if you have this mod disabled and you are in your inventory, ignore my keystrokes right now because it's not going to show this. But if I hold my W key and then exit out of my inventory, I'm not going to move forward until I release W and then press it again. This is something that's really annoying and it's something that has gotten me killed a lot because say you're organizing your inventory, right? You're just like putting everything where you want in your hotbar and then someone's running up on you, right? The first thing I want to do is get out of my inventory and start running to them, but sometimes I accidentally press my W and E key at the same time. And when I do that, I'll just stand still and not go anywhere, and then the other person just hits me and combos me. So when you turn modern keybind handling on, and then you go into your inventory and you hold W and then escape from your inventory, you'll keep moving forward. There's no reason not to have it enabled, and it's just a really nice quality of life thing, and it has saved me in a lot of situations, and it might save you. Okay, so if you haven't changed this, then by default your scoreboard is going to have a bunch of numbers to the right of it. These numbers serve absolutely no purpose whatsoever, but you can disable them by using the scoreboard mod. So if I type in scoreboard, and then here's the scoreboard mod, I click on the little gear icon, the only thing that you need to select right here is hide numbers, and it will get rid of them. This is just something that makes your game look cleaner, and the numbers serve absolutely no purpose anyway, so why not remove them? Okay, so before I was a Bed Wars player, I was always a practice player, and in pretty much every kit that you 1v1'd in, you had a sword with sharpness on it. When you attack someone with a sword that has sharpness on it, then their player emits these sharpness particles. This is just personal preference, but in games where you don't have a sword that has sharpness on it and you attack someone, it just like looks really awkward and wrong. That's just my opinion, but you can actually change that with the particle multiplier mod. So if I search up particle and then I go to the particle multiplier mod and click on the options menu right here, you can set the particle multiplier to whatever you want, but I just keep it default at one. But the main thing that you want to have checked is always show sharpness and make sure that that is enabled. And you can see when I go up to someone and start punching them with my fist, they're always going to be emitting particles, while if I go back to the particle multiplier mod, and I disable always show sharpness, then nothing happens when I hit them. I think PvP just looks better this way, but it's completely up to you. If you use a 60% keyboard, then you know the pain of being in a fight, then hotking to your one key, but accidentally pressing your escape key, and then clicking disconnect. I have lost really high dual twin streaks like this. It's painful. And if you didn't know on a 60% keyboard, the one key is right next to the escape key. I remember way back when Lunar actually added this mod because I requested it, but basically if you go into mod settings and then scroll down, you can find smart disk disconnect right here in misc options. When you enable that and then you go to disconnect, it will give you another prompt that says, are you sure you want to disconnect? And then you can click on this and it will actually disconnect you. So it's a two-step process, which some people might find sort of annoying, but if you're anything like me and you have a 60% keyboard and you just find yourself accidentally disconnecting yourself from fights, then this is a really nice feature. The next mod is 3D skins, which you can find in mods and just searching up 3D skins. This mod was released pretty recently, but it is so nice. It just makes every skin look 10 times better. I'll show 
show an example of what it looks like on screen of it being on versus off. If you don't have this mod enabled, then definitely make sure you enable it. It just makes the game look better. This next mod is going to be really, really useful if you're a content creator, especially if you're a streamer. So this mod is located in the chat mod. So you want to go to mods and then search up chat, click on options. And what we're going to do is set our own profanity filter. To do this, you want to go to profanity filter level, set it to custom, and then click on hide filtered messages. From here, click on the custom filter button and it will bring up a notepad. So you can put any terms that you want in here just to clear up your chat. But if you're a streamer, there's one thing that you should put in here that's really, really useful. Include the term sniped by. This pretty much cripples stream sniper groups that get recognition off of your streams. And by including this simple phrase, people will never see what group snipes you and they'll never get any recognition from your stream. And if you want to be more thorough, then you can also put all the names of all the sniping groups in this too. Basically how to use this mod is you put this phrase on one line and then you go to a next line and then you put whatever phrase you want. So you can put this is a test, go to another line, put test, and then it'll, it'll just block out all of these phrases. You can use this for anything if you just want to clear up your chat or just protect your privacy. But for streamers especially that get sniped a lot, this mod is a must. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys find these mods useful. And if you guys have any other mods that you think are like low key and underrated, then leave them in the comments below. Sorry if this is a shorter video. I promise you guys I have some really, really cool uploads in the works. So be on the lookout for them. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.